Good morning. How's everybody there? Thank you so much. Well, this is Gazan for you, IELTS tutor back again with another topic. Image Academy welcomes you to IELTS learning. So, today we are going to talk about what IELTS is about generally. In the last video, we talked a lot about the introduction of the subject itself. But today, we are going to jump into understanding four components of IELTS. But before we move on, I want you to subscribe our video channel so that you can get all the information related to our videos. Thank you really so much. So today, we'll be talking about writing section, writing component, which is essay writing, journal essay writing, task two. People normally have a perception that essay writing is very complicated or is something they don't understand just because they are not the English um, native speakers and that's why they cannot handle that thing. People have got different you know, questions on the mind um, about whatever the confusions that they have and which is one of the problems basically that we can't handle that thing very very nicely. But don't worry, today I'm going to make everything very easy for you guys and no problem again. So today what can we do to reach nine band on essay writing, especially on task two? Let's talk about that. Task two is simply your own creation. It's a generalized concept. Now understanding the formula of dealing with the whole segment is very much important. First of all, getting to know about the actual time of task two is important. Be you academic IELTS taker, journal IELTS taker, it remains the same for both the segments. So when we talk about the time, essay two, task two, I mean, that contains 40 minutes, demanding 250 to 300 words, and that's the range which means that the minimum words of achievement have to be 250 and the maximum 300. But this is not the final you know, limit for you. You can even go five or 10 words you know, above or below, that's okay, no problem. Because when you do the job, sometimes you need to complete your logic, your reasoning, to making, making sure that everything that you do there, you know, goes really up to the requirement. So what we do, when we talk about task two, let's not forget, it's all about your own creation. So there are four things that we need to keep on mind. Making sure that we are doing the right job is only when we can reach band nine. And what are those? Here we go. Number one, task achievement. Number two, cohesion or coherence. Number three, grammatical range, your grammar. And number four, your vocabulary. Now, let me just tell you a little bit more on them, one by one. Task achievement is that, how are you going to start and how are you going to end? How many words you are actually about to write, going to write, and what things you need to keep on mind while doing the composition. That is task achievement. If that is done nicely, think that you have already done 25% of the whole thing. Second, cohesion or coherence. Cohesion is idea. Coherence is logic. Whichever the side that you choose to write on, make sure that you prove your idea with the logic it gives a sense. So you can oppose the idea or support the idea. It can be against or for. Whichever side you stay on, make sure that you explain everything with the logic so that the examiner doesn't have any problem understanding your idea. Because normally and generally, the writings that we do 
are meant for the general masses. So we are educating the people about our ideas. Third, grammatical range. How strong you are at the grammar, what you know about the grammar, how beautifully you can use the grammar in conveying your message through writing to your readers. And this way, you've done a nice job already. That's why building yourself up on the grammar is equally important. The fourth one is, of course, vocabulary. Vocabulary is that your overall learning that you have had with you on the language. And it's the time you are going to manifest, demonstrate your learning on the composition itself. And that's very much important. And when we generally talk about the vocabulary, what exactly are we trying to say? Suppose you have a word beautiful and you're writing something related to beautiful on beautiful. Now you're not supposed to mention beautiful, beautiful, beautiful all the time on your composition. Should you do so, it's already a bigger mistake because it's irritating, it's childish. It's not really good for the readers. So you've got to give some flavor. You have to bring in some synonyms, you know, explaining your point in the nicest manner. So what you've got to do is to basically bring some other word that has got a similar meaning or the same meaning, yet different, to make your writing look beautiful and meaningful at the same time. And if, for example, the word is beautiful, you can say superb, spectacular, fantastic, wonderful. That's great. You know a lot about the vocabulary. Job is easy. So these four subcomponents are very much important for doing the right composition, making sure that you are doing your job for making nine band very much possible for you. So these are the four things you need to keep on mind all the time. Let's move on. Try to understand what the structure of an essay is, an internationally standardized structure. A structure which is recognized or approved by British Council. Now, talking about task two, it has got three things very important again to keep on mind. Number one, we have introduction, where we write one paragraph each containing 50 to 60 words. Second, we have body text, body of the essay, your composition, wherein we write two paragraphs, each containing 80 to 90 words. And in the last, we have conclusion, wherein again, we need to write 50 to 60 words. And this way, you actually become able to do the job very nicely and be able to get the score that you need. Now the question arises, okay, we know the structure, we know what we need to write, but how would we get to know that whatever we're writing is really, really powerful, or it is actually winning us the score that we need at the end of the day? Very easy, let's talk about that. So what we do, you know, generally when we do the writings for the people, how we make them look more attractive or fascinating to our readers, only by giving the strongest introduction. If your starting lines are not very attractive or strong, your readers are actually going to lose their interest in reading and understanding the whole thing all the way to the end. So we got to make sure that the introduction that we compose, that we draft is very much you know, appealing, attractive, meaningful, so that it keeps your audience, your readers, strongly connected with your composition all the way till the end. And that's the key, by the way. So let's talk about our introduction. <clears throat> now, introduction has again got four questions in order to create a sequence of your writing. Now, making sure that everything that we do is going very much within the right direction. First, we got to know about the topic. And that is, what's the topic? Second, what's the question? Third, your opinion. Because it's your own creation, so you can take either side. 
and then accordingly explain your view. So your opinion is important. And the fourth one, reasons. What are your reasons that you're giving your opinion? How are you going to prove your point that whatever you're saying is actually right and people should believe in? Hmm? That's very much important. So these four questions are the key in making your introduction the strongest one and attracting your readers, your um, examiners and your viewers at the same time that yes, your composition is really powerful and this is what they should stick with. So when we do the overall composition, we make sure that we follow the same sequence of the questions and then we do the job very nicely. Now the question arises, there's a requirement of 250 to 300 words and we're talking about the introduction. And one may ask, how would I get to know that the words that I'm writing on the introduction are basically doing the justice with 50 to 60 words because I'm not doing computation, I'm not doing calculation with the calculator, but rather I am writing and I'm stressed, I'm panicked, time is money for me, you know, and I have to make sure that everything that I do is done, you know, very nicely within the time allowed. I may not be able to calculate everything. So the answer to this question is very simple, very easy. What you got to do, you just need to put that into practice only once, twice, thrice, and fourth time, you're there already. Because the biggest problem that writers of today, they do have, normally they don't understand, is that they don't know how to create a correlation between the brain and the hand. Because our hand and our brain never go together. Sometimes our hand is leading and the brain is following. Sometimes the brain is leading and the hand is following. They never remain on the same page, which is where exactly we are losing the actual power of writing. And this is what we have to create. And this is gonna happen only when we put that into practice. Practice is the key to getting you the score that you want. This is very much important. And here's the thing that I wanna share with you, which 99% people, writers, don't apply. Whenever they come across any topic they're supposed to write on or about, they quickly jump into writing without thinking what exactly they're going to write. That's another mistake. Keep always that in mind, that you've got to give yourself minimum two minutes to prepare your mind. Frame up ideas in the mind before you jump into writing. Because once you have the ideas, once you have got, you know, a complete sequence, a structure on your mind, on what exactly you're going to write and how, that everything else for you becomes easier. And that's the key, that's very much important. And what happens normally when you start writing, you never stop on the way, because you have got a flow of thoughts, a flow of words helping you throughout, making your job easier throughout. And that is wonderful, that's what we need to do. And I want you to have a look at what is journaling or how an introduction can be far more attractive or appealing to someone. Let's have an example. Okay, deciding where to live, for example, I give you the topic now. Life of a city is better than the life of a village. Once again, life of a village or city Life of a city is better than the life of a village. What do you have to say? Now here's the topic for you. Now you've got to decide what exactly you're supposed to do. Now we have a topic, life. What's the question? Where to stay, city or village? You must opt your decision with your opinion and prove your point with your logical reasoning. Give your reasons to prove your point that yes, your voice is really powerful. So let's have a look at the introduction itself. Deciding where to stay is life's 
is one of life's mere choices. One may choose to stay in a city or village according to their preferences. In my opinion, city life is better than the village life because it offers bigger and better opportunities such as employment, education, healthcare, sports, transportation, and much more for one's personal and professional development. Now you look at the composition. This is my own creation because this is my own view. And I have proven my point in here. You got to look at the words, how many words we have achieved so far. Make sure that you have used the right grammar. Look at the grammar and I, I believe that we have used the right grammar there. And we have already justified with the number of words that we needed. It's between 50 to 60 already. And at the same time, we have put those four questions in the composition itself, giving us a sequence and a power to our composition. Something that is going to keep our readers strongly connected with our composition throughout. I hope you have understood a lot from this video. We are going to bring a lot more related to writing and other components as well. Stay strongly connected with Image Academy. Always keep subscribing to our new videos so that you can be fully prepared with all the information that you need. Until then, take care of yourself. Bye-bye. Assalamualaikum. This is Maryam. Have you ever experienced being isolated sometimes? feeling unconfident maybe, or miss a lot of opportunities because of the language? If that's the case, I would like you to come and join us at Image Academy where you can surely develop yourself in speaking that would definitely affect your confidence to improve your personality. So with the help of our qualified teachers who are exposed in international market, you will also learn the importance of having a good grip of the language. So if you wish to be the right fit in the market and make a change, uh, check the number below for other clips. Hi guys. Actually, I was super excited to tell you about my success story of my IELTS Bandaid, which I got recently through the Image Academy uh, by their professional, train, uh, professional coaching and trainers, which was never possible for me according to different institutes and academies. But I went to Image Academy and by the grace of Allah Almighty, I got IELTS Band 8. So I'm very excited to invite you all over to the Image Academy to get a chance uh, get up to your career. So guys, what are you waiting for? Hurry up, get an admission to Image Academy, save your time, save your money and get a desired score and, and be successful in your life.